the video is all about viscosity the measurement of viscosity index and the effect of pressure and temperature on viscosity viscosity of oil is resistance to flow of oil when oil is hot it flows rapidly then when it is cold so in cold weather oil should be thin to permit easy flow in hot weather oil should be heavy to permit it to retain its film strength an oil film placed between two parallel plates is shown in figure so if i want to uh, find out according to newton's law of viscosity then the shear stress is proportional to the rate of shear at any point in the fluid you can see the p is the force a is the area u is actually the velocity and h is height between the two plates now this is how the units of viscosity are determined the constant of proportionality mu is actually the absolute viscosity the force is in newton h is in mm area is in mm square and velocity is in mm per second so the unit of absolute viscosity is newton second per mm square or you can also say mega pascal second viscosity is also determined in poise or dyne second per centimeter square so we have to convert centipoise to newton second per mm square this is how it is converted one centipoise centi means 100 so we can do one upon 100 poise so poise is also called as dyne second per centimeter square now the conversion is actually one upon 100 into newton second divided by 10 raised to 5 10 raised to square mm square so it will become 10 raised to 9 newton second per mm square viscosity index is an indication of change of viscosity of oil with temperature high viscosity index means less change of oil viscosity with temperature it means oil having viscosity number 0 is a poor oil while number 100 represents good oil so vi 100 has very small change of viscosity with temperature and vi 0 has very large change of viscosity with temperature this is how viscosity index of a particular lubricating oil is determined the first thing you have to do is that measure viscosity of a given sample oil using sebald universal viscosimeter at 100 degree Fahrenheit and 212 degree Fahrenheit. Plot the viscosity readings on graph. Suppose you can see in the diagram Y and X are the viscosities of sample oil at 100 degree Fahrenheit and 212 degree Fahrenheit respectively. Now select a reference oil having viscosity index 100 and viscosity of X at 212 degree Fahrenheit. Plot viscosity reading of this reference oil at 100 degree Fahrenheit, say H. Same way, select reference oil having viscosity index 0 and viscosity of X at 212 degree Fahrenheit. Plot viscosity reading of this reference oil at 100 degree F, say L. And then determine viscosity index as L minus Y upon L minus H into 100%. viscosity measurement is done actually with the help of the Sebald viscosimeter you can see in the diagram it is Sebald viscosity meter to measure the time required for a given volume of oil to pass through a capillary tube of standard dimensions so wherever the container is marked actually there the capillary tube is there so viscosity is measured by Sebald universal viscosimeter. You can see it in the diagram. 60 cubic centimeter of lubricating oil 
is passed through capillary tube of standard dimensions you can see in the diagram bottom there is a flask which is going to collect that 60 cubic centimeter of lubricating oil once it is passed through the capillary tube ASTM American Society of Testing Materials has determined this measurement of viscosity with Sabelt Universal Viscosimeter. The other viscosimeters are Redwood Viscosimeter and Engler Viscometer. See, viscosimeter and viscometer, it's one and the same thing. In Redwood Viscometer, 50 ml of fluid is passed through capillary tube. So, this is the change how it is different from Sebold universal viscometer and Engler viscosity meter measures viscosity relative to viscosity of water so this is the change suppose if I want to measure with the help of the Sebold universal viscosimeter then this is the formula ZK is 0 0.22 T minus 180 by T where T is the viscosity in Sebold universal seconds SUS ZK is the kinematic viscosity in centi stokes CST kinematic viscosity is actually the ratio of absolute viscosity to the density of lubricant and you can see the rho is the density of the lubricant in gram per centimeter cube so whatever viscosity you found out with the help of Sebold universal seconds that is T you have to put into the formula you will get ZK and if you will put the value of ZK and the density of lubricant you can find out the kinematic viscosity Z. SA numbers oils are graded according to the viscosity by series of Society of Automotive Engineers SAE numbers viscosity of oil will increase progressively with SAE number means if SAE 5 oil would be very light with low viscosity and SAE 90 oil would be very heavy with high viscosity viscosity of oil used in gasoline engines generally ranges from SAE 5 arctic use to SAE 60 desert use arctic means cold desert means hot now one thing you should note down that this number has nothing to do with the quality of oil. You cannot say that SAE 5, 5 number come here means the quality is less and 60 number is more, see quality is less. No, it has nothing to do with the quality. It has to do with the viscosity. SAE 5 means low viscosity, SAE 90 means high viscosity. According to SA, any oil that meets SA low temperature requirements will be followed by letter W. So SA 10 W means low temperature requirements. SA is also classified the oils in six groups. You can see A, B, C, D, E, F. Now these are according to gearbox, machine tools, turbojet engines, where which type of lubricating oil you should use it is according to that in India Indian oil company has also introduced servo oil and it has its own recommendation generally the viscosity numbers are similar to the SA numbers effect of temperature and pressure on viscosity now this is very important viscosity of fluid increases with increase in pressure as pressure increases fluid gets compressed and the gap between the molecules reduces thereby increasing the intermolecular forces so you can say that the intermolecular forces increases and so the viscosity of the fluid will also increase with increase in pressure the graph shows the relation between viscosity and temperature Viscosity means what? Actually, it is the resistance of oil to the movement of one layer of fluid relative to other layer. So, resistance of motion is due to intermolecular forces. The diagram shows the viscosity of SA oils. It shows that temperature of lubricant oil increases, then fluid will expand. So, the molecules will move apart leading to decrease in intermolecular forces. It shows that decrease in intermolecular forces means viscosity of fluid will decrease with increase in temperature. 